If not, let's see. Oh, come on. We have the Queen of Swords who wanted to be seen, and we have the Tower. Might be an Aries, Leo, an, an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, exploding your world. We do have the Tower, and we are all going through the Tower moment with this pandemic and the Six of Swords. But I kind of see that somebody is walking away. <clears throat> In this time of big crisis, somebody actually decided to walk away and um, continue the journey by themselves. So we'll see what this is all about. Six of Swords Temperance might be a Sagittarius you are dealing with. And they need peace of mind. They might have walked away, moved to another city, another state. Oops, sorry guys, that's my phone. Moved to another city, another... Um, another state, right? And now we are all patient about waiting on them. Seven of Pentacles. We want them to come home. I know, baby, I know. So let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we have the Nine of Swords. Oh, baby, why are we so worried? Nine of Swords with the Three of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Justice. The Star. You get the Star twice, Aquarius energy. And the Moon, that is something in the shadows, and you show up Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. I love this, I know, I know. Will you worry about love and communication? So this is the overall energy. I know that was a continuous message and it, it was like Michaela pick another, you know, take that, tick, 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 tick. So you have a lot of energies at the overall energy, but they all say the same thing. We have justice on our hands. Might be a divorce or separation. We are very scared about. We do have the moon, even afraid. We have secrets about this partnership. We have probably no communication and we still love the bastard and we still want a reconciliation. We still want divine guidance. We still want wish fulfillment with them. Can be an Aquarius twice. For some of you, this is actually the, the energy coming your way. And it's the energy of healing. Trust the process. That's the, uh, the star card. And it's the energy of everything will be taken care of, right? Because the stars and your spirit guides are aligned to help you with this. But it might be a legal matter on your hands that you are really scared. Even the moon is about fears, nine of swords is anxiety, depression. So actually, I would say no reason to worry. We have like, you know, the most spiritual energy in tarot, the star, um, you know, leading you where you need to be. So I wouldn't be that worried, you know. It's like the energy of you being taken care of, um, Cancer. And I know it might be scary and harsh and cold, um, you know, it might feel lost, but actually twice the star is kind of the universe letting you know that you are guided, you know, you don't have to worry, you know, that is the path for you in this one. So Cancer, let's see past energies on your side. <clears throat> the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, five of wands, that was a little bit of trouble in paradise, and now we have to fight. This is competition, this is fighting for money and resources. Internal struggle, what should I do, what should I do, what should I do? so um cancer in the past oh baby three of swords and the queen of cups you had so much love for this person this is the queen of cups this is you showing up at your best and uh, bringing your best act forward um this is like the best love possible that you had for somebody the most mature one right wanting to build based on like real love that you had and what you got was this Three of Swords. They've hurt you like crazy, backstab you, surprised you with um, something. This is abandonment. This is actually, for some of you, it's actually a request for divorce. That's the Justice and the Nine of Swords. Or maybe you're worrying that this is coming, right? Because this is overall energy. <clears throat> 
sorry, so or whatever resonates with, right? It either is happening right now, and it's now that we have all the legal proceedings and stuff, and for some of you actually it happened in the past, and now we are a little bit lost till the the outcome, we see the outcome in, in, um, in broad light, right? Now the person you are dealing with, we do have the death and the ten of cups, so they put an end to this family probably. Um, the death is actually through a transformation, so they transformed, they changed, they were ready for something new, for a new chapter, and they said, you know what, whatever happiness we have, we also have Ten of Cups, it has children in it, so for some of you also have Page of Cups, Page of Swords, both energies of kids. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, and then it was over, right? And then it was over probably in the recent past, the way I'm seeing it with the overall energy. And of course, both of you burdened by the crossroads, right? You had to choose a path, you had no choice, I believe. And also they found themselves at crossroads and mutual energies, ten of wands with the two of wands. A lot of heaviness in this. Um, you know how it feels, um, Cancer, it does feel like this energy of they had no choice but to end it. Uh, maybe you caught them red-handed, can be, and you never allowed nothing whatsoever. So, you know, somebody gets, um, you know, um, well, in the position of having no choice but to end. And it's um, because both of you, right, you are carrying the ten ones of the, and it's an ending, ten, ten of ones. There is no eleven in, in, in this. So, um it was heavy, it was harsh, and uh, you had to choose something they had to choose. It's not that they had a plan to abandon you for somebody else. It was, well, you know, in the face of the evidence, uh, how can we, you know, we don't have many choices. So, uh, where are we right now, Cancer? We do have the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands. Probably you want them back. You still have emotions for them. This is the energy of you wanting reconciliation for the sake of the family. We have the marriage card. This is you wanting to give another chance to this uh, family of yours with this person. Emotions, being friendly, being easy. Um, and it's interesting, it comes with the Three of Swords, Three of Cups. Again, a little bit for some of you, doesn't apply to everybody. Three of Swords, Three of Cups is the energy of a third party situation, having too many people in the bedroom and not everybody signed an agreement kind of energy. And, um, but still, uh, probably you love them so much and, and you feel that, you know what, um, we can still have something and we can still build on, on this. Guess what? Now they want the family back, Cancer. They have, again, the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, what would make them happy at this time is actually go back to the happiness they had with you. Um, it's what they want. Um, they want to be right in this energy of having their children back, their wife, their husband, whatever this is, and longing for happiness actually. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the King of Wands, maybe a fire sign, and the High Priestess. I know. Still a lot of silence with the High Priestess in action. Um, probably you are not taking action, you only manifest this reconciliation. First, for them, it's what they want. I mean, what would make them happy actually is to come back, to be back to you. But again, that is this energy of um, silence and, and might be secret. Uh, and if you are dealing with the fire sign, they are still like in this secretive, silent, silent treatment, cold shoulder kind of energy. But at the end of the day, they show up here with the king of wands. So they are still passionate about you. They still want you. This, this is the energy of taking action. But it's paired with a very um, important major arcana of the high priestess, right? They know, but they don't act. So um, it's the manifestation energy, right? It's, um, it's the energy of staying between the dark and the light. And um, not fully in the light, but having the knowledge, right, of both worlds. So they know. They know you are their happiness. Now moving forward... We do have new beginnings and we have the Five of Cups. We are quite emotional about this new beginning. You have a new opportunity on your hands. Um, actually, for some of you, this is a passionate offer of a new beginning. 
can be a renewal of your connection we'll see with the other energies here um <clears throat> but can very well be a very passionate um offer cancer and you are not paying attention because you miss this person of yours this probably um husband wife or a very committed partner that you had right so you might be turning your back you know some food for thought for some of you not seeing actually that that is right behind you an opportunity <clears throat> Now I do love the five of cups because the person is actually looking at the empty cups and right behind him, that is the two of cups. So you have love, you are not paying attention, you have passion, you are not paying attention. But now that you know, you can be more aware in your environment, right? <clears throat> I, honest to God, uh, cancer might be a fire sign you are dealing with and look at this. Knight of Wands, they are charging towards you. That's the energy of passion. This is the energy of playfulness and sensuality. Wanting to um, come towards you. Knights are all about action. So if we had them standing still with the High Priestess, now they are in action mode towards you. And why are they in action mode? Well, because they now realize they've missed an opportunity. Four of Cups, right? They did something, um, Cancer, that is a message for somebody out of uh, boredom and discontent. Somebody might have engaged in third party situations of some sort. Uh, we know Knight of, Knight of Wands is a player. He doesn't really keep it in his pants, you know, all the time. So I'm just saying, you know, but now they know they've missed a big opportunity. And actually you are their happiness and wishful feminine Cancer. Right now it's nine of cups, ten of cups, and that's you. Um, energy is coming your way, definitely decisions. Two of swords, two of wands. One, the energy of crossroads, and it's a repeat card. You have it in the past, you have it right now. Oh, I guess I'm going to sneeze. Let's hope it will go away. And the two of swords, contemplating, right? Not quite ready to choose a different path, but staying with you and your energy here. You both think of each other. That's also the Two of Swords, right? I am unable to make a decision for a new beginning because I still have this person in my energy, right? This is how it feels. Um, <clears throat> and guess what? You both want back. That is, if that is one message in this reading, it's you both want back. And I know justice is like legalities in papers and probably divorce or separation, splitting assets, whatever. Um, but this connection is being healed, Cancer. And you have twice the energy of the star, so it's like you have your own healing, they have your own their, their own healing, and together you manage to heal this connection in such a beautiful way. And that is divine guidance. It's like both you are divinely guided through this. And it was probably a lost moment and they hurt you. I mean, that is energy here, right? And it was painful. Um, but they know better. High Priestess, they know better. They saw the dark, they saw the light, and now they know, right? That's the energy here, right in the middle of the reading. And with the King of Wands, it's, they are quite passionate about this, you know? Uh, they feel strongly that there is a clarity of their mind that is um, happening right now and ready to take action because now they know, you know? That is a deep, by having the High Priestess right in the middle of the reading, that is a deep message of now i know i had to go through mistakes and endings and and now i know you know so um and what if both of you are worried about this divorce or separation or whatever justice karma legalities pieces of papers and stuff so and a lot of communication page of cups is my my i'm sorry card and uh, Page of Swords is, again, ideas. I know I have a plan. Now I'm smarter. Page of Swords is the genius card. So so somebody became, you know, had to go through this in order to be a little bit more um, wise about something, about this connection not something. Um, so Cancer, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what energies we need to get back in the flow because we might have blocked them unknowingly, of course. We have virtue, Cancer. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. 
you have for two we need to get this kind of energy uh, back in the flow you need to help somebody spiritually anyways or have that energy of an enabler individuality you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do Wow. Well, yeah you might have a connection that is a very um, tight um, knit kind of, connect, of connection with this person and now you are really asked to be yourself in this and leave your unique stamp of love I love stamp of love commitment you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly knowing that love is the essence of your very being so whatever you do do it with commitment knowing that the love is the essence of your very being stay committed and do it with love we do have gratitude cancer we need to get the gratitude flowing so you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that life lovingly presents to you so we need to say thank you for the lessons right we learned something in the process and we have action I love this it's like a work on yourself like right virtue individuality commitment gratitude and now action you have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul this is your true self this is and bottom of the deck we do have success and I do believe you need to express yourself and find your true self and talk about and share your true self in order to have success and it says, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Yeah. And you have gratitude twice. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. That is something you need to be thankful. And it's interesting because you got the harshest cards, right? The third party and and, and kind of the energy of, of a family going like all over the place. And yet the universe is asking a cancer to be... Um, thankful you know i don't know what kind of lesson you guys got in this but twice the the um, energy of gratitude is like thank god it happened because now i know better or something like that there is a form of um, awareness and awakening that happened and actually now we see something that's bigger than life and we need to be thankful however this applies to you guys that's the energy we get today and you know what let's ask for with the guardian angels we're gonna have two energies and then um pieces of advice and then we we say goodbye till the next time we have the magician manifest your dreams you're ready to go there is no need for additional preparation take the first steps towards the changes you desire even if they are small steps Notice signs that guide you in the right direction as well, as well as resources and support that miraculously appear. And you do have the Five of Swords. The path you are on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There is a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. So if this is their energy, we need to move forward. That's what I'm hearing. And manifest your dreams. And live the drama in the past. But they are so charging towards you. Um, Cancer, you are their wish fulfillment. Absolutely. Um, and divinely connection, divinely guided. Both of you being divinely guided. Um, so Cancer, this is all that I have for you guys. I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe and strong and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.